we're standing in downtown Gary, Indiana, in front of the steam engine display they have across the street from City Hall and the courthouse and the Gary Land Company building built in 1906 that issued all the leases permits to the employees who moved here to build U.S. Steel. That is the Adam Benjamin Metro Center and up here is the South Shore train station. So Elgin EJ&E 765 is the Elgin Joliet and Eastern Railroad and it served for 33 years on the uh, what they also called the harbor Indian the harbor belt it went from in the harbor area here all the way up around chicago ej and e had a stable of 80 steam engines very much like this for running their service this one was they, they started building them in 1910 this one was built in 1929 like uh black friday <laughs> like the, the the year the market crashed right before the depression and it ran its service until 1962 when it was donated. And it ran service on the EJ&E Harbor Belt around Chicago uh, for about half of its 33 year service life. And then uh, when diesels were starting to come in, uh, it got moved up to Minnesota for US Steel where it served as a switch engine in the iron ore mines. That gave it an extra long life because when it was retired in 1962 and donated to Gary, um, most everything down here in the re industrial area had been uh, dieselized and finally the mines were dieselizing. So now I'm going to explain how a steam engine works. Uh, a steam engine is consists of two parts. This is a big boiler up here and back here is a tender that has the fuel and water to drive the boiler. So the front part of this car is coal, filled with coal, and you burn the coal. It's transferred into the firebox where they heat the uh, boil, boil the water to make the steam. This whole front section then is filled with steam that drives the, uh, the wheels. So the way a steam engine works, the steam comes out of the steam engine and goes into this top cylinder that's the steam valve that fires one end one end or the other end of the steam valve this is or the steam cylinder this is the steam cylinder that goes back and forth and it comes back and forth here and then it drives this switch around and around so this one on this side of the engine is at 90 degrees and if we go to the other side you see it's horizontal so you're getting power in one direction and then here it would switch to be power in the other direction meanwhile the other side is 90 degrees off so you've always got power through the whole 300 or 360 degree cycle this big cylinder up here is the air reservoir for the brakes you can see giant brake pads yeah, down here uh, on every wheel and those are geared they're air powered from from this on the other side of the engine they've got air pumps air, air compressors that drive uh, the brake system this is the reverse gear as uh, you can see it says Alco reverse gear type type G by the way uh, everyone knows what that means right <laughs> and uh, so the reverse gear comes up here and through this linkage it's directly connected to the steam valve so instead of firing one direction the, instead of the uh, steam cylinder firing one direction it would go the other direction and that's all controlled up in the cabin so on this side or the other side uh, they've got uh, valves and, and uh, bars they go into the cabin and they can actually control all these things from in there. This tray we see here, this is uh, an ashtray. So the fire, the coal is coming up into the firebox. This is the main firebox and the ashes, you know, from your fireplace, you know, you get ashes that comes down here. And then inside there's actually uh, 
a, a, a hose, a, a water line that rinses the ashes down into the middle. It's captured in this tray, and goes down, and when they're at a, a station, they dump all the ashes into a flume that goes under the tracks. Now back here, this is a, it's, it's an automated coal feeding system. So this is a, uh, this is an auger, this big uh, cylindrical piece here is an auger that is a big corkscrew. It's pulling the coal forward and pressurizing it into this chute. It goes up this chute into the uh, into the cab. So that is the firebox. That's the, the stoker on the bottom and the firebox on the top. And so from in here, the operators could open up the engine, look inside and see the fire distribution. They could actually, they've got controls in here to direct where the coal goes. So if the coal was you know, hot here and cold there, they could put more coal over there. And back here, you can see the coal would just, this is all just wide open in the back in the front half of the car. The coal just uh, you know, works its way down and uh, goes down into the auger here, gets fed forward into the firebox to boil the water to make the steam. Then the water is in the back half, and these big black pipes, as uh, you can see it on the other side, and uh, I got half of one here, and the other half is laying down there. This is how the water gets up into the engine. So you can see it follows along here. This is the water pipe that we're, we're tracing. So this water, this uh, is broken off, but it goes up and feeds into the top of the engine into the boiler. So up in the front of the boiler and steam engine is obviously the smokestack. Then this uh, the bell is uh, full of sand and there's you can actually see uh, lines come down the side and dump sand right in front of the wheels for traction. So that's a sand dome back here. This is uh, a steam dome bell that captures steam. This is where the, the uh, uh, whistle would have been attached and this device next device back is a steam dynamo so it's a little miniature steam engine that generates electricity so you got electric to power to power the lights in front and back and interior and everything these are steam release safety valves and then back here there's a little house this is like a pulpit, so they could, uh, when they're doing switching maneuvers, they can't see backwards from there, from inside the cab, but you can't quite see the windows, but there's a door on this side and a window on all three sides, so that would be their, their eyes and ears looking backwards. So that's it. It's an amazing piece of machinery. Uh, we are getting ready to restore it. Uh, just cosmetic restoration, so it'll look even prettier than it does now. So uh, make sure you come by and take a look when we're done.